What's up guys, I'm your host Emily for emilysrobotronics.in and today I have uh, two products with me which is a 2-in-1 uh, soldering station which has a soldering unit on soldering unit and a hot air rework station embedded into a single unit and uh, the other one that I have is a, a digital uh, multimeter so this, is, this has uh, all the LCR functionality plus apart from that it can also measure temperature and frequency so both these products are from a company called BTEC so probably you wouldn't have heard of this company anywhere outside so this is a local company uh, in uh, Bangalore I believe so even I have not heard of this company before but uh, what I can say is that BTEC don't manufacture these products instead they buy the products they import these products from outside from uh, Chinese manufacturers and then they rebrand these products with their tag and they sell it in the local market and uh, also provide uh, service service for these products so that is one good thing that uh, you have you can be sure in case your device uh, fails to work you can always say that there's somebody out there who would uh, repair it for you even though there is no warranty for these uh, things if you buy it here so whether you buy it from here or you get it imported from outside you would not have warranty but if you can buy these local brands you can you definitely get uh, the servicing from these companies so they do have uh, service centers and you can reach out to them and uh, get the product service in fact I uh, got a promise a verbal promise uh, from the shop that I bought this that he would take care of the servicing and uh, uh, again it would be a chargeable service so in, he should have no problems in uh, getting it repaired uh, at a cost so uh, that's that's another part of the game but uh, let me just uh, talk about uh, the soldering station and the multimeter uh, one by one so first thing uh, going to the soldering station I had a very uh, a very indecent uh, soldering station for my work and I, my work used to like so you can see uh, the soldering station that's lying on my table that's a soldering station from a company called Soldron so this is a local uh, company again uh, uh, pretty famous in India in fact uh, for uh, the soldering units and this is a small uh, soldering station and I think the uh, the solder iron can go up to about uh, give up to about 25 watts of output so that is uh, not a good thing and you also see another uh, soldering iron on top of the that, that is not a sing that is not a temperature control that's a single uh, fixed uh, temperature uh, soldering unit so I had been facing a lot of issues to do my work to my soldering work and uh, hence I had to uh, go uh, plan to buy a new unit so I had I had been seeing a couple of products on net which was uh, by Atten so A-T-T-E-N so that's been pretty famous on eBay and also uh, by our famous uh, blog that I follow that's called EEV blog where uh, Dave Jones had done a review about uh, the soldering the hot air uh, rework station from Atten and uh, this is a similar unit so when you look at the unit you see that it's it's the same unit it looks just identical to it but just that the branding is different and you would not see Atten written on it but you would see in fact uh, labeled as BTEC so as you can see it from the label this is a this unit comes with a digital display and uh, I also believe that there is a feedback loop mechanism wherein the temperature once set will stay at that temperature uh, the tip of the soldering will stay at that temperature even though you uh, even though uh, you use it for a long time so even though you switch on the device and leave there is always a feedback mechanism which keeps checking if the temperature is uh, in the temperature uh, region that is set if it's not it would always bring it down if it goes up it brings down if it goes down it brings up the temperature and it always makes sure that uh, the unit the soldering tip is always at uh, the specified uh, the set temperature so that's about this unit so one more good thing is that uh, you get both the hot air uh, rework station and the soldering unit in uh, built into a single unit so you can use you can save a lot of space on your desk in case you are uh, uh, for you in case you don't have enough space on your workbench so that was in my case I had a very small space for my work so I had to uh, bring a unit which uh, would save a uh, lot of desk space 
and uh, that's why I decided to go for a single uh, unit rather than uh, buying two different units which in which one would do the rework and uh, the other one uh, to do the soldering so I just went ahead and like bought this uh, soldering station so about the pricing I could buy this unit for 4400 uh, in uh, Bangalore and 4400 Indian rupees so that's a very small uh, very uh, that's very cheap compared to the Aten the Aten uh, model that's available on eBay which is for about $120 I believe so that can go up to uh, 6000 if you're getting it imported to uh, India but uh, this unit is available here already rebranded but uh, uh, the shipping and the custom stuff is taken care so you need not uh, worry if uh, you can just go ahead and buy uh, from these people and also avail uh, the service if you had bought it from uh, uh, eBay you would uh, not get warranty uh, the same is here even though you have paid less you are not getting warranty so that's uh, absolutely fine uh, let's take a closer look at the specifications that uh, they have given here so uh, they have uh, two different specification one is for the rework station and the other one is for the soldering station so uh, rework station it, it, it works at uh, AC220 volt so it should uh, work in India and uh, uh, output power uh, if you see it's, uh, it gives up to uh, 700 watts of uh, out, uh, power uh, dissipation using this uh, hot air uh, unit and uh, Temperature range can go up to 100 to 500 degrees Celsius. Temperature stability plus or minus 5 degree. And airflow, okay, I don't understand what that means. Anyway, we'll go going forward for sorting station working uh, voltage. So, uh, this is a normal uh, AC voltage. So, temperature range, you see, they're talking only about uh, uh, the heating element, the uh, uh, soldering uh, unit, uh, soldering uh, iron, not uh, the complete unit here, and uh, the unit uh, soldering unit can go up, give up, give you an output of 50 watts, uh, so that's a very good uh, amount, and also the temperature can be set from 200 to 480 degrees Celsius, so you can do all sort of soldering work at home uh, using this device and. Uh, that's about uh, the specification about the device. We will do a quick uh, unboxing uh, of this device and also uh, see uh, uh, and see the working in uh, another video. So, for those of you guys uh, who would like to know the model, uh, there you see it's a two-in-one seven zero six D. So that's the model name, and uh, yeah, that is from a company called B Tech. Okay, I, this box seems to contain a lot of stuff which I cannot handle on my desk. So I just uh, kept the box on the floor and I will show you the contents uh, inside on the floor itself. So unbox, unboxing you would find a, a manual or a user guide. So that has some uh, paperwork so it has all the description about uh, the unit. So that should uh, serve you some uh, quick uh, start guide so serve you has a quick start guide so going further you have some uh, productive casing I don't bother about it and here is the main unit let me just uh, remove that okay so this is the main uh, unit and uh, this is the hot air uh, gun which is uh, connected and the motor is here so uh, this unit will blow uh, the hot air uh, from here not from the main unit so the temperature or the hot air that's coming will is always generated here and the air is pushed uh, through the nozzle so this is uh, one bad thing about uh, this unit is it's fixed uh, to this unit so it's not a uh, removable like uh, the soldering iron it's always fixed so that's one uh, disadvantage that's one thing that I didn't like about it so maybe people have uh, their own choices and we have a power cord this is a, a EU type uh, EU variant of uh, the plug and we have a soldering iron so there you see it's a soldering iron it it looks decent but uh, I don't see a very good uh, finishing on that so that's fine we'll just uh, do an unboxing we'll do a review and we'll see the quality of the products that we get and in this unit we have uh, three different uh, we have nozzles of three different sizes which will go into the hot air gun so you can uh, Fix these nozzles and use uh, any of these based on your uh, rework.
requirement and apart from that you have another fixture so this is to place your uh, hot air reverberation so this unit will go in there and then you would uh, place your uh, hot air gun that way and the last thing that we have in the box I believe is your uh, uh, unit for uh, placing your uh, soldering iron so that's it and we don't have uh, anything else in the box I'll show you uh, the unit itself this is the main unit and it comes with uh, three different uh, buttons and uh, you have your power switches also so you have two different switches for uh, using uh, either of them and you have your uh, this is the unit where your uh, solder soldering iron would uh, fit in and uh, yeah that's about it so I'll make another video to show you working and uh, other uh, stuff about this so I will leave a honest of uh, reply or I would do a honest review of this product and I will give you the cons and pro of this product because I am really not sure uh, of its uh, actual performance so if this device can deliver uh, what it says then it's good for the price that you're paying so I would make I would make sure that I make a very good review very very good uh, detailed review about the product so that you will know the actual uh, working of this product whether it uh, delivers uh, whatever it says so uh, stay tuned and uh, keep watching